YTBC, how are you? Bag Piper coming at you again from the car on the ride into work. Got my uh, K. Woody custom grain bulldog. The very first bulldog I ever owned. The one that made me fall in love with the shape. This thing still fits the hand so nice. I love this thing. used it for a while um, just thought it'd be the perfect height to get out uh, actually uh, if you don't follow his channel he used to be Southside Piper now he's Ziggy Num Nums uh, he bought a sheep eBay pipe that was a bulldog and uh, turns out once he cleaned it up and got to researching on it it's like one of the oldest pipes in his collection now. And uh, I was talking to him about it on Instagram last night. And uh, it's like, you know what? I'm going to break my first bulldog out. I love this pipe. I'm not sure that it's the oldest one in my collection, but pretty close. And it's a rare K Woody or more valuable K Woody or whatever because because it is uh, the clover is encircled in white instead of the other way around. Learned that from Treetop Piper. In the Bulldog, I am smoking uh, BB1938, a sample that was graciously sent to me by uh, New to Cobbs, John. I gotta tell you, I am not a huge Dunhill fan. Uh, they're Virginias to me were a let down like the Dunhill Flake and the Dark Flake, the Elizabethan, uh, Royal, I mean they just, I don't know, they, if you've ever smoked cigarettes and, you know, you smoke menthols or full flavors and someone gives you an ultralight, maybe a light, but an ultralight, and there's just no flavors like sucking on a straw and that's about it that's almost what the Dunhill Virginias did for me there's just there was not enough there and that's probably uh, McClellan's fault because I'm used to the McClellan Virginias but it is what it is Dunhill was already not not shooting well for me. Early morning pipe was alright. Nightcap was a letdown for me because there was so much hype on it and I didn't think that it lived up to the hype. So because of that, I didn't try Durbar for a while, and then when I did try Durbar, I was blown away. Couldn't believe how awesome it was. Scrambled and got, I don't know, I think I have four or five tins of it. Always wanted to try the BB1938, which is baby bottom, uh, but never, I don't know, it just never worked out. I think I have a 10, maybe two, but I doubt it. I, I'm pretty sure I have a 10 and that's it. So, the first time I smoked this, 
which was yesterday morning on the way to work. Right, it was that good that I smoked it two days in a row. The first time I smoked this, 1938, the only thing I could think of was I wish I had smoked it first instead of early morning pipe and nightcap because I would have got so much of it and stocked up on it and now I only have one tent. Which I have a tin or two of nightcap and a tin or two of 965 which the 965 I enjoy too but I would trade all my nightcap for 1938 or Dunbar but I have like five tins of those so 1938 so if anybody doesn't like their 1938 and wants some nightcap or anything let me know Really good. Really smoky. It's just that really good morning smoke. It's a little complex, but not like overly the right amount of smoke and that smoky flavor it's not a punch you in your face Latakia but it's really good you can get your hands on it I suggest it. I know it's getting harder to find the Dunhill stuff. And they might come back out with it. And they might do a match to the 1938. I know there's a EMP match and a nightcap match and a 965 match. So if they did a 1938 match, I would definitely get some and try it and hope that's as good as this. So anyways, this wasn't even intended to be a uh, review on the uh, Dunhill BB 1938, but looks like that's what it worked into. Uh, no, my original, my sole intention of shooting this video this morning was to do a VR to my boy uh, Clint, the frozen vacuum blender. We've been talking about uh, the giveaways we were planning on doing and knew he had something special coming up uh, and then he released his video yesterday and I watched it. Man, making my decision so hard because I told him, I said, you know what, I'm going to participate in your giveaway and shout out the channel and try to you know share the love promote your channel and stuff whatever but you know we're already good friends and we already send stuff to each other and so i'm not going to keep the prizes i'm just going to pass them on if i win and then he posts up the giveaway and i'm like damn it you shouldn't have said that <laughs> you know just that pad and tad kicking in but but no i uh if I win, I've got, I already know who I'll be sharing the prizes with. Uh, there's a couple of people that I'll be splitting it up to. So if you want to know what those prizes are, you got to go check out his channel, which I'll do my best to leave a link in the bucket. And uh, he wants to know if you're... He's got two prizes, one for VRs and one for comments. And he wants to know on the comments if you're a lurker, 
why haven't you started making videos yet? Which I think is a great question. Why haven't you? Um, I've got a giveaway going on and uh, my one year anniversary giveaway and honestly I'm a little surprised at how small the amount of comments in my for my comment giveaway that I have so I'm wondering if that doesn't mean that more lurkers are switching over to being presenters that would be awesome uh, but that's a great question but obviously I'm not a lurker I'm a presenter so he wants to know why I started making videos Like I've said previously, um, I was already a YouTube presenter, so I was used to it uh, when I discovered the YTPC, and uh, just like with my other YouTube channel, the whole reason I started it was because I learned so much uh, watching YouTube that I wanted to share things that I knew to help somebody else and not only that um, I had nobody in my area when I lived in Tennessee to smoke with nobody um, turns out after I left I found out there was a couple people in Morristown but I never never found them while I was there never hooked up with anybody to smoke a pipe with so I would get on YouTube and watch videos in the YTPC while I was smoking a pipe and make videos while I was smoking a pipe and that was kind of like my way to uh, have smoking buddies and then you know I've met people I've done the house party thing where we are all on smoking a pipe together on house party and so it's like a virtual hangout and that's been cool i have finally went to a meetup and smoked a pipe with uh, some cool guys um, now i'm down here there are some people in the semi-close so hopefully i'll get a meetup soon and i'll be able to go do another you know have another meetup and smoke a pipe with some fellas and that'd be awesome um, yeah that's why I started making videos was to uh, to contribute to what I was already a part of and uh, have somebody to smoke with so Clint, congratulations on uh, your 300 plus subs. It's real easy to tell why you have 300. Um, you know, you got some great videos on press and leaf and blends and ramblings and whatever. I'm sure, you'll get 300 more pretty soon. Anyways, that's my uh, VR to Clint for his 300 sub giveaway. He also wanted us to shout out some new people. Uh, at least one and two that I can think of that are the newest, at least to me, are uh, Four Eyed Piper and Pipe and Cigar Therapy. relatively new to the YTPC, already getting a really good uh, following and report, some good videos, so go check those two out, and uh, that's it, hope y'all are having a good week, someday, keep full and rolling, back Piper out.